It's been a great summer, hasn't it? Hiking your favorite trail, taking a cool dip, or paddling in fresh Canadian waters. We've all seen lots of sun exposure this season. So right now is the time to learn about melanoma detection. Doing something as simple as a body scan can save your life. This is Health and Weather Extended, and today we are gonna learn about melanoma detection the deadliest form of skin cancer. It's so serious because of its ability to spread to other organs, if not caught in the early stages. The American Academy of Dermatology says melanoma the size of a dime on your skin already has a 50% chance of being spread. Well, the way that melanoma grows is it grows this way and then it goes deep into the skin. So if you catch a melanoma early, then it's less likely to metastasize, which means the cells travel throughout the body. So when we catch it early, we get it before that stage, then it can be something that's removed and you're monitored and your chances of survival are much higher. So how do you detect melanoma on your skin? Doctors have created the ABCDE method and here's everything you need to know. When we're counseling people on what to look for in terms of the signs of melanoma, we make it simple. We call it the ABCDEs of melanoma. So A stands for asymmetry, when one side of the mole looks different than the other. B is the border. So if the border is fuzzy or it has a little pod sticking off the side of it, that's a sign that it should be checked. C is color. So if the color is changing, getting darker, or any color change, that's a sign. D is for diameter, so we always say anything that's larger than the end of a pencil eraser. And E is for evolution, so any change that you're seeing in the mole, if it looks different than it did before, then that's a sign that you should get it checked. And then in general, we just say look for the ugly duckling. So when you're looking at your moles, if you see one that looks different than all your other moles, that mole should be checked. Now, if you are concerned about a mole, here's what you need to do next. You can request a skin check with a dermatologist. It's a very easy appointment. You'll be shown into the dermatologist's office. Uh, you'll put a gown on so they can see your skin. And then the dermatologist will go head to toe, front to back, checking all your moles using a special instrument called a dermatoscope. They may look a little closer at some of this. And this is just a special light that allows the dermatologist to see the details of the mole. And then the dermatologist will counsel you on what to look for in terms of a changing mole. And that's it. It's usually a five or 10 minute appointment and then you're out the door. Routine skin checks are crucial. And according to the Melanoma Network, in Canada, 1,999 melanomas went undiagnosed since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is due to lockdowns forcing people to miss routine skin checks. Another stat from a global survey estimated that 21% of early stage melanoma went undiagnosed due to 33% of professional skin check appointments being missed. It's important to know that melanoma can be hereditary, but many cases are linked to sun exposure, which means this can be preventable. And sure, we think about it a lot in the summertime, but melanoma can spark any time of the year. Even though we're heading into fall, it's still important to use daily sun protection because even though ultraviolet B rays are different at different times of the year, the ultraviolet A rays are always the same um, when you're in one place. So those are the rays that go deeper into the skin that cause skin cancer. And those are the ones that go through windows as well. So I just recommend that people wear an SPF of at least 30 every day on the areas of their body they're exposed, and then you're protected all year long. This has been Health and Weather Extended, the chat about melanoma and how to detect this deadly cancer as early as possible.